everyone. Welcome to our latest update on the crypto blockchain space. We're going to be covering Marathon Digital Holdings and Riot Blockchain. And we'll even touch on the stock market and some of the cryptos just to give us some context as to where we are. But it is an exciting time indeed if you are investing or trading in the space. We've seen the requisite uh, setup for a continued rally. We have a at least an impulsive looking first wave for at least one of these assets. And we've seen similar bullishness in the stock market and the crypto space. We're going to start with Marathon real quick. This is our 15-minute close-up chart, short-term chart. And these charts will be available in the description below. So check out the links down there. But we are following our primary count of purple in which we have a one, two, three, four, and a five. I'm calling this an impulse because there's no overlap between our fourth, fourth wave dip and the top of our first wave, which you can see clearly here. The same is not the case for Riot, in which when we uh, get this thing adjusted, there is uh, almost a dip. So I think I misspoke. There's a few assets where we didn't see that uh, favorable setup, but we are calling this an impulse so far. However, what makes this non-standard looking is that our uh, fifth wave is longer than either of the other two waves. And as a matter of fact, it can convincingly be considered a C wave. So we have our red A, B, C bearish alternate pattern on there. And then we'll not come off the chart until we break through our pivot zone, which I'll dig into in just a second. But uh, we've had what I'm calling a second wave. You can call this an A, B, and a C, or an A, B, and a C. We have plenty of signs of a bottoming. We have an uh, MAC divergence, as you can see here. We've gotten less stretched as we have uh, got more and more prices. And we may already have a first wave in place. So once again, this is a bigger first wave, the one in parentheses, second wave dip. I don't know why the two moved around, but it's somewhere around here. And we have have start to rally. So hopefully you guys aren't getting FOMO just yet, because yes, the third wave is the ultimate wave to, to play. However, we want to see a bit more confirmation. So we're looking for a smaller 500 impulse of the lower degree. And that would give us the vaunted 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two setup. That's what I have here. The non-parenthetical 1-2 uh, is what we're looking at. We may already have it. But our ideal zone that we want to get into is the 0.382 to 0.6 wind extension. We should see an impulse into that box and then a subsequent pullback, which may or may not be short lived. And by the looks of this, this really looks like a three and a four with the fifth wave to come. Why? Because we haven't gotten in that ideal box yet. And this really looks like a fourth wave consolidation. And our MACD is giving us some hints of that exact same thing. We were very overstretched, uh, relatively speaking, uh, at the top of what I'm calling the third wave. And this is classic behavior for a fourth wave, a bit flat looking sideways. So I would like to see one final uh, smaller degree impulse into this box. Now that's marathon. Uh, and right, the story is the same. When I zoom out a little bit, <clears throat> we hear, uh, here we also have our one, two, three, four, five with a non-standard looking fifth wave. That's pretty big. So here too, we have our ABC red bearish alternative pattern. I can't take that off the chart unless we get through that pivot zone again, which we'll touch on in just a second. We're presumably done with our second wave. Here too, we had some signs of a divergence with our MACD. And here too, we've had a counter rally, which just touched our ideal range. So that's a good sign. But here too, we have a divergence, uh, which is even more pronounced than in, in Marathon. So that's a good sign. That's what you want to see when you have a local top. And therefore, we're probably in a sideways consolidation. Fourth wave has likely started. It may go on a little longer, maybe another day, who knows? And then we want to stretch into this box deeper to give us a better five wave impulse. Once that happens, we will expect a pullback. So a three wave pullback, A, B, C, something like that. And while the standard retrace would be a 38.2 to 61.8% retrace, sometimes if the sentiment is strong enough, you have a very shallow retrace. So you never know, maybe you have a 23.6% retrace, something really shallow. And they can just take off. I've seen this happen <clears throat> numerous times in other assets and uh, other asset classes. So here's how you, uh, well, here's how you keep yourself from FOMOing. Take a look at this pivot box. So I'm going to start back on uh, Marathon, as I promised. The pivot is the 0 0.618, 0 0.764 extension zone that is marked in purple or blue. This actually probably looks better in blue. Just distinguish it. And that means that uh, once you break through this box, 0 0.618 extension becomes your support. And that more or less confirms that you're not in a fifth wave anymore, that you're off <coughs> in a larger degree third wave or larger degree C wave, whatever it is. But that would be the confirmation I'm looking for. And that's right. I have a buy region here. 
So once we have a top in our first wave and a pullback in the second wave, that is where I'm going to go leverage. So I'll have updates here. Keep on the lookout for those. I am excited to play this, but only if we get the setup we're looking for. And once again, we're through this pivot box, which tops around 2118. That is the bullish flag right there. The uh, the green lights are uh, going off at that point, flashing, and we will have our support set at 1918. That will be a strong support. That is for Marathon. For Riot, same story, but different numbers, obviously. Again, we want to see a second wave pullback, same place where we have a buy zone. And depending on the liquidity, not sure if I'll play options on Marathon or Riot or both. Once you break through 1113, our support becomes 1018, and green lights are flashing there too. But again, we must hold that 0.61 extension. We're not going to focus too much on that at the moment because we still need to complete this impulse and we are looking for a pullback before we're ready to go. Now, as promised, those are the two uh, blockchain uh, items, blockchain assets. We're also going to look at crypto, which is kind of our uh, underlying. So I'm going to zoom out on this thing, maybe an hour view, just to give you guys an idea of what we've been witnessing in the crypto space. But here's Bitcoin, not as pretty as in the blockchain space. I'm calling this a leading diagonal that is complete, second wave pullback. And we're having some nice, impressive rallying uh, in Bitcoin. We've touched, we've actually crossed the 22,000 mark with a bit of a divergence and look at that that actually looks pretty impulsive to my eyes when we zoom in a bit count out a one two three sideways fourth of consolidation maybe a fifth maybe the little antenna top is a fifth i'd like it to go a little higher to be a more convincing fifth wave but we have it so that is a good sign i think ethereum had a more impulsive look in the first place doesn't look as healthy now though if i zoom back out on ethereum while it had a uh, much more Nearly textbook looking uh, bullish impulse. That's right, the namesake of the channel. Our rally ever since looks very corrective. So perhaps it's a fake out B wave with the further low, uh, lower low coming for a uh, C wave. Now, uh, while I'm on that particular thought, I'm going to go back to our blockchain stock ticker charts here. I do have this alternate blue pattern. It's blue because it's not really a bearish pattern. But there is the chance that this rally is a fake out, just like I demonstrated now in Ethereum, possibly a fake out. I don't know for sure yet. Could be a B wave with a deeper C wave to come. That's why we really need to see confirmation. And therefore, when you do buy on this dip, if you plan to buy on the dip, your support will be set at whatever the low we hit was. So for um, Marathon, it would be about 1073. That would be a good stop out point if you do end up buying. And for Riot, the stop out point would be about $6.17. Um, that'll more or less invalidate this bullish impulse and more likely mean that we're following this blue alt with a deeper wave too in blue. Now, if we break support, whatever our low was a few months ago, uh, back in June or July, then we're probably following the red bearish pattern. So we'll look at that on the big picture chart in a second, but that is what we're looking at in uh, in the short term. You have your support set to show Bitcoin, Ethereum, some of the possibilities. Now we're going to uh, quickly glance the stock market in which Things had looked messy, but look a little bit better now. We've had a timely counter rally. We have a one, two, three, four, and maybe all of an A wave of a bigger fifth wave. Maybe the A wave of an A wave of a bigger fifth wave. A couple of different possibilities, but it's definitely doing what it needs to be doing to convince us that we are following a leading diagonal pattern in uh, in the stock markets. Again, this is the ES Mini Futures SP 500, and therefore we need to see that higher high that should materialize over the next few weeks. And that would bode very well for our blockchain uh, stocks because they are equities at the end of the day. Big picture, haven't changed too much. All the patterns are exactly as they were before. Um, I did adjust the Fibonacci extension target because in Marathon, we didn't dip as deeply as I thought we would. So our targets project a little bit higher than in our last update. Third wave, expect we would expect that to get to $62 to $84 with the final top projecting much more healthily into the purple box, 101 to about 137. That is the ideal target range, assuming that that is actually the one, two that we were expecting. And so far, that's what it looks like. And when we look at this on the big picture, it definitely looks like a proper one, two, three, four, five with impulse. So that is good. All green lights for Marathon and Riot. We had a slightly deeper retrace. So we're actually projecting a little bit lower now than we were before based on standard proportions. Our third wave should get between 23, uh, 37 and 29, 32. Final top should be around 37, 74 to 42, 33. Those are, again, standard targets. You don't know. Maybe we see some uh, more explosive rallying later. 
This again does have the more messy looking structure relative to what we saw in um, Marathon Digital Holdings. And uh, the alternate pattern is honestly far more likely here. You could call this entire thing an impulse, with a second wave pullback. That is the alternate blue perspective here. Much more ambiguous. Perhaps this is a big A wave and a B wave with a C wave coming, or maybe this will end up being some kind of a zigzag rally. Not totally sure. It's a bit more ambiguous, but regardless, we're seeing everything we need to see to be excited. But again, a reminder, don't go too crazy. If you've been accumulating shares that are not leveraged, you continue to do so. Um, not really any reason to sell um, if you are worried about the pullback we're expecting the short term uh, for our wave two pullback. Also, though, be careful not to go all in. But if you are more aggressive, you have your stopping points set up. And if you're looking for leverage, again, I'm looking out. Even if I don't get a video out, I expect to post some kind of community update with uh, what I've bought in terms of leverage. And I will be looking at marathon and riot call options. As for timing, this third wave may take a while to materialize. Not totally sure. Um, the expirations I've been looking for would probably be no earlier than uh, January 2023, uh, just off the top of my head, perhaps later. Uh, but January options tend to have the best liquidity and open interest. So. Uh, We'll have more details. Subscribe so that you don't miss the next update. And if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to give me a like. Till next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.